Welcome back everybody. So I don't typically fillet fish. Um, I'm much more of a catch and release kind of angler, but when I do fillet fish, typically it's as close to a limit as I can get because I don't like dealing with the hassle of filleting one or two fish and then not having enough for a meal and having to go out multiple trips and whatnot. So uh, when we are filleting, you know, multiple fish or many fish, uh, it can be quite a time intensive process. So f electric fillet knives have always been interesting to me. Um, I've looked at them for a while. The price point has always kind of scared me away from them because uh, they can get into the hundreds easily. But the other day was Amazon Prime Day and ironically enough, they did have a deal on a electric fillet knife. So ended up picking that up. So I ended up getting this one from Casking. Uh, I think originally like normal price, it's right around 110, but with uh, Prime Day and coupons and whatnot, I think it ended up being like in the mid 60s or something like that, which is still quite expensive, but much more tolerable than the you know the hundreds and whatnot or you know 150s and whatnot so figured why not go ahead and get this and then open it up and do a review just in case anybody else was kind of you know hesitant to getting a electric fillet knife like i was so i got this one from cast king um i can't really remember the name of it but it comes in this very very nice case um if you don't fillet fish all that often you know it's probably nice to have a case like this but because it's, it's something you can kind of stow away and it's not cluttering up your your kitchen drawers and whatnot but um it is called the cast king speed demon lithium ion fillet knife with a name like that it should be good um yeah for the most part pretty simple uh it's got a handle that is doesn't seem incredibly big i've seen other ones that look a little bit bigger than this so um fits decently in the hand uh it does have safety because obviously you don't want the blades moving when you don't want to be cutting you know hopefully preventing injuries and whatnot uh i did go with the lithium ion battery just because i don't want the possibility of being out you know it camping or something of that sort and not having a outlet nearby to go ahead and use a corded one so you could buy this for even cheaper if you ended up getting a corded one but i opted for getting the battery powered um, it does give you a battery meter and it looks like we're at three right now. We'll probably charge it before we use it for the first time. Uh, I think it, the website said that it lasts for about 140 minutes on a full charge, which I mean, 140 minutes, if it, it's as fast as what, you know, it looks like on the internet and whatnot, that would be an absolute ton of fish. So shouldn't have any worries or concerns as far as that goes uh it does come with two different types of blades it comes up with a nine inch blade and then a flex seven inch ba blade um for a little bit of those smaller fish the other night we did end up with a catfish i don't know which blade would probably be better for a catfish that size but uh we might try this one and i guess if it doesn't go well or maybe we'll use each of them and cut a side off of with each we might try that also but nevertheless let's go ahead and charge it up and wash the blades and then get in a fillet and once we're all charged all right we were all charged up that didn't take too long at all um this little light it's got a indicator uh and it's red obviously when it's charging and flip screen whenever it's done so easy to know as far as that goes got the blades cleaned let's get into filleting we'll probably start with the big one uh, again i don't think it's necessary uh we should, probably should be able to get away with the the flex finesse blades but i guess i'm if i don't use them for a catfish i probably never will have to uh because catfish are obviously one of the biggest things that we're catching out of the lakes and filleting so let's get into it all right so we got our catfish uh a little bit bigger of a catfish than what i would have liked to fillet but we weren't able to catch any smaller ones so it, this is what we are, are dealt with um we'll go ahead and use the big blades for this one again it's probably still a little bit too much for the even a fish this size but i guess this is probably the only opportunity that we'd really ever have to use them um for the most part attaching the blades pretty simple you just got to go ahead and put them in the slots and then it'll snap when they're in. I do have the battery out just so we don't have any accidents. It should snap. There we are. So we're in, we still have the safety on. Um, and then we'll go ahead and put our battery in. See if she works. 
shaved you up. Works real well. So um, we will go through the side, through the back, and then try and skin it. Um, I've never gone through the ribs in a catfish because typically, you know, with a normal fillet knife, you can't can't really do that or it's pretty difficult to do it. So this will be a new technique on top of using a new piece of equipment. So hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully we don't lose too much meat or anything like that. But we only got one shot at this. So go ahead and go through the side. And then we'll see. And again, this is whoop, almost got a little too much. Oh, wow. We did horrible with that. We definitely left a lot of belly meat. Not awful, but we could definitely could have done better. We didn't, we barely went through the ribs, so definitely could have gone a little bit lower. Um, we'll get that belly meat after the fact, but. So that is our first cut. And our second cut, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So we don't have a very long flight board. So. We had to recruit another cutting board, but so now we'll just go ahead and cut down and here. And there we go. Pretty solid, to be honest. It's a little bit tough getting through initially, but I assume that's probably where we started digging into the, the skin a little bit. And we just have a little bit of ribs here. Not too bad. Just cut those out. And there we go. Not too shabby as far as that goes. We did leave a little bit of meat on the fish. Not too much, but just a little bit. So we weren't quite able to get down there. I think part of that was not cutting far enough into the rib cage. But we'll go ahead and I think again, I think these blades were a bit unmanageable. I think they're just too much. So we'll switch on over to the, the sevens. Uh, again, we'll go ahead and put it on safety. And then Put that down and then go ahead and pull that out we'll go ahead and put on the other ones and see if we can't do it a little bit more clean all right here's our second go around let's see how this one turns out Safety off. that one went much better.
All right. This is not easy to get through the rib cage all that well. And maybe that's just me because I'm I'm new to it and have never done it before, but not super easy. That a bit. We definitely left more meat on this side, and I don't know why. Could be that we're on cardboard also. Much better. Much better. All right. And we'll do a little bit more cleanup, I guess, as far as that goes. So I guess overall, I think there is a bit of a learning curve with it. Uh, I don't think I'm great with it by any means. Um, probably have to do it a little bit more often to get better at it, but it is a ton faster. Uh, so I'll give it that. And obviously if you're doing a lot of fish, it's probably, wildly wildly helpful well this is what we got from that one fish uh, we had to go back and clean it up a little bit and get the belly meat and everything else like that um, but overall uh, I like it um, I think there's a little bit of a learning curve so I'm not in love with it right now um, I assume that you know using it more often you get much much better with it uh, I'll probably like it a lot more it was a little bit difficult going through the rib cage on that fish it might have been because it was a bigger fish I'm not really sure but I uh, did have to fight with it a little bit but nevertheless if, it, if you guys absolutely love this uh, electric flay knife by all means go ahead and drop comments in the section below if you don't you know by all means go ahead and drop those comments too uh, but if you guys like the video if you wouldn't mind liking and as always if you want to see more videos like it if you wouldn't mind subscribing that'd be greatly appreciated also till the next one